Welcome to our lecture online. We just want to make sure that we know how to find the conjugate of a complex number called complex conjugates. Well, when the numbers look like this, it's very easy. All we do is change the sign of the imaginary part of the complex number. So the complex conjugate of the first one is simply going to be 1 plus 4i. And for the second here, second one here, second complex number, we just change the plus to a negative, and so it becomes 2 minus 5i. And even if they kind of trying to deceive you by putting a fraction in front of it, doesn't matter. You simply change the, plus, the negative to a plus, and I don't like the looks of this i here. There we go. A little better. So we simply change the sign from negative to a plus, so it becomes 1 plus 1 third i. So those are simple enough. But what if we only have the real part of the complex number? Well, then we don't have a complex number. We simply have a real number. And then we don't have to change anything. That's simply equal to 26. Now, if you want to write it like this, 26 plus 0i, that's the same thing as 26. Then we can make this 26 minus 0i. And of course, 0 anything is still 0. That's simply equal to 26. So you can see that, in essence, we have taken the complex conjugate, except the imaginary part was equal to 0. And what if we have an imaginary part? We don't have a real part. Well, then we could say this is the same as 0 minus i. And so that becomes 0 plus i. Or simply, this is equal to i. And so, if we have negative i as an imaginary number, the complex conjugate of that is plus i. And that, again, is very simple once you realize how to go about doing it. That's how it's done.